Hey everyone, it's Alyssa here with Darn Good Yarn and, and John. It's Alyssa and John here with Darn Good Yarn uh, to talk to you about how to use our beautiful Furoshiki wrappings. These Furoshiki wrappings are made from recycled sari material that we no, yeah. Well they are made from recycled sari material. This is true, I'm gonna rephrase yep. that though. <laughs> These Furoshiki wrappings are made from the same recycled sari material that we all know and love. They're all unique and one of a kind. Unique and one of a kind feels a little redundant. Yeah. Go on. Okay. <laughs> it's Repetitive. just so right that it's right twice. But... Brings it full circle. <laughs> That's why it's circular fashion. There you go. Yeah. The Furoshiki can also be used for a multitude of different things. You can use them for wrapping gifts but they're also the gift that keeps on giving. You can use them as an accessory in your hair, as a little bandeau top, or attached to your purse as a little pop of color. You think it would fit as a bandeau top for me? We could try. Give it a shot. Tech? No. Give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show you a few ways to use your furoshiki to wrap some beautiful gifts. The first thing you're going to want to do is lay out your furoshiki on the diagonal. Then you're gonna take your gift. We've got here some example gifts. Called amigurumis. <laughs> All right. The first thing that you're going to do is take one corner of your furoshiki wrapping and lay it right over your gifts. And you should make it even so it's nice and pretty. Lay it right over your gifts. Then take the opposite corner and do the same. You'll notice that this corner overlaps, so I'm going to fold it and tuck it under nice and neat. Now you'll notice we have these, these two sides. Here you're going to also make it a little bit nice and neat, almost like you would with wrapping paper. You can kind of scoop the ends in towards each other. I'll do that here too, on the other side. Now we have two cute little ends that we can bring up together and tie into a nice, neat, little knot right here on top. Fluff out the corners and you've got a great little present. Who are you BFL. giving that one to? Yes, you. To me? Yeah. So I don't have to pay for them? Happy birthday. Wrapping number two. For this one, we're gonna wrap some sorry wrap skirts uh, for the holiday season. Oh. You're doing so good. Thank you're you. doing so good. I believe in you. All right, so you're going to take your sari wrap skirt that you're so lovingly giving to one of your BFFs and lay your furoshiki out on the diagonal with your sari wrap skirts right here in the center. Taking the two side corners, bring them together and create a little knot. From there, what I'm going to do is take one of the uh, corners that are left and one of the ends that we just tied, and I'm going to tie those two together. I'm gonna to redo that because that does Maybe if you were a little more prepared, then it would look good. Mm, I'm, just, mm, mm. I'm just trying to get Alyssa to beat me up by the end of this video. So now you're going to take one of the corners that are left and the closest corner that we just tied, bring that up nice and snug, and then tie those two together. Now, you'll do the same on the other side. You can check if anything has come a little bit visible. Make sure you get those folds nice and tucked where they should be. Beautiful. Pretty. Cute little. Okay. This one's for you too. For me? Yeah. Does this mean I'm your BFF? Yes. I'm here trying to make you hate me. Like how you do off camera every day. All right, the third thing we're going to wrap is one of our rainbow unicorn yarn kits. And we're is not that rainbow wrap... unicorn? It is, it is one of our kits. <laughs> <gasps> did I just know something about yarn that the Queen Alyssa did not know? It's, it is a crafting queen. Per chance, per chance. We're gonna fact check this later. So, <laughs> I'm gonna wrap one of our easy knit and crochet kits in the ocean color. <laughs> not rainbow. Not rainbow unicorn. The first thing that we're gonna do is lay our furoshiki square in front of us. Is right. it already square? Um, right in the middle. 
Then we're going to bring one side of it, the whole side, over and do the same with the next side. This is too big of an item. For the third wrapping, we're going to use a yarn bowl. So I've got the yarn bowl and I'm going to place it right in the center of my wrap that is placed square in front of me. You might also need a little bit of a bow or a hair tie. I'm going to take the far side of the wrap and bring it right over the box. Then I will do the same with the close side. If there's a little bit of overlap, I'm just going to tuck and fold to make it neat right on the side. From here, I'm going to, almost like wrapping paper, bring these sides in. Then I can take these little bunny ears, bring them together at the top, and use either my hair tie or my little bow to tie a knot. It's a good thing I'm a fiber queen because this is one-handed. I would offer to help, but yeah. I don't want to. You've got a direct, very important yeah. job right I'm, there. Yeah. yeah, I'm doing I'm all the hard doing work. doing so much say. directing. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> From here, you can take these little ends and fluff them into a cute little, cute little bow. Then I would snip this, make it nice and tidy, all set. And then you are all set to give this beautiful yarn bowl again to your BFF. No, you don't get it. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so thank you for joining us today and learning all about how to use your furoshiki to wrap totally beautiful birthday gifts or holiday gifts. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and definitely- Please, please, <laughs> please like and subscribe um, for I... my mental health. <laughs> I make so many of these. To boost John's ego. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and check out DarnGoodYarn.com because you have access to an exclusive YouTube-only discount of 15% off any order. So I'm excluding supply. What was that you said under your breath? Sounded like you said something un under. So I'm excluding the supply. Uh huh. <laughs> so I'm excluding the supply. Huh? So I'm excluding the supply. Some of them are. <laughs> Some exclusions apply. <laughs> yeah, 15% off site-wide. Some exclusions apply. Darn good YT15. Thanks everyone. Bye.